Hello, Alcona! Welcome to opening ceremonies. I am Dave Duffy, I'm the state coordinator of Bait of Iowa. Hey, Chopper, how's it going? I want to welcome you out here this weekend. I hope you all enjoy yourself. We've had some humidity in the air, so make sure you uh, please hydrate. Uh, our medical staff will appreciate that. Um, at this time, I'd like to bring out the uh, our color guard, so please remove your colors. Good afternoon. I'm Howard Umdahl, and I'm the commander of the VFW Post 2541 here in Algona. We welcome you to our uh, post in the downtown VFW tomorrow and Saturday as we sell our omelet breakfast to raise money for kids in the community. Along with me today are our comrades that served and the members of the VFW. We got Lindsay Moe uh, in the, raise your hand a little bit, Lindsay. Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay served in the Army, and uh, Frank Mueller is right next to me here. He was a Vietnam War member, and he served in the Marines and the Navy. Don Heipel, he's the tall one amongst us, he served in the Army, Vietnam. And I served in the 25th Infantry with, in Vietnam in Cochi. We want to thank you for inviting us here for your opening exercises. During this 4th of July weekend, we celebrate our country's freedoms. Let the 4th of July always be a reminder that here in, in this land, for the first time, it was decided that a man born with certain God-given rights, the government is only a convenience created and managed by the people, with no powers of its own except those voluntarily granted to it by the people. We sometimes forget that great truth, and we never should. Today, we also want to honor and thank all veterans that have fought and served to keep our freedom. So we are not only celebrating the birth of America and our independence, we also celebrate the courage 
and bravery that today's men and women of the armed forces display in order to protect the core value of the United States of America. These include liberty, equi equality, and self-government. We enjoy our independence and freedom because of our veterans. Now, I want to take a minute. It'll just take a minute longer. I want to read this one poem. It's called The Cost of Freedom. He died serving our country in a land far away. He gave his life for freedom. They buried him today. He loved family more than life. He had to do what's right. To protect them and his country, he joined in the fight. Next time you see a soldier, don't just pass him by. Thank him for his service. He might be next to die. How great the cost of freedom. How brave those who defend. Protect them, Lord, that they may safely come back home again. So in closing, I just want to say that we enjoy our independence and our freedoms. Because of our freedoms, we can have rallies such as this, and because of our veterans. God bless America. Thank you. Please give a big hand for our veterans and the VFW of Algona for coming out here today and everything they did for this country. Show your appreciation to these vets and any vets out there. Next, I'd like to uh, introduce a very special guest that we had show up today. Uh, she's a writer. She's a veteran herself. She's your U.S. Senator, Joni Ernst. Thank you, Dave. Thank you so much. Um, God bless, of course, the VFW, the gentlemen and women that uh, have provided freedom uh, for so many years. Uh, thank you for coming out today and honoring our nation. Um, and thanks to all of you. God bless all of you for coming out today and celebrating our nation's Independence Day. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. Thank you so much. So, yes, as, as Dave said, I have been a writer nearly all my life from the time my dad got us girls our first dirt bike when we were little, little kids up till now. Um, continue to ride. I'm looking forward to getting out on this glorious weekend and putting, putting some miles on my bike. So thank you. Um, but I'm having a great time coming out today. And a lot of folks, they don't see me as a motorcycle rider. You know, I'm wearing suits. I'm out in the United States Senate. And they're like, oh, you ride a motorcycle? Wow, that's kind of badass. Um, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but a lot of folks are like, how did you ever get into riding a motorcycle? Well, it started when I was a kid. But the reason I continue to ride today is because simply the feel of freedom when you're on your motorcycle and you're out there. And that's really, freedom is what our country was based upon. The men that, that separated themselves from the tyranny of a government that was far, far away across the ocean, they decided we can do better in our own country. And that started the birth of these great United States of America. And so I want to thank you for sharing in that freedom. I know we have a lot of veterans among this group. God bless you all for your service. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. We appreciate it so much. But you are the men and women that are out there, whether you are a veteran or whether you are a patriot, you are out there protecting our values and our freedoms every single day. So God bless you all. I wish you the best this weekend. Don't ever forget that freedom is not free. We can never, ever take our eyes off of that. But again, I want to thank you for coming together, celebrating all that's good about this nation. Um, God bless you all. Ride safe. God bless you all. Happy Independence Day. Thanks so much. Thank you. A lady does so much for the motorcycle community. Uh, helped us when we were in the Des Moines with all our motorcycle issues there and we got her transferred up there to DC and she helped take care of our motorcycle issues there in DC and we really appreciate that with her. Next I'd like to introduce uh, Vicki Mallory from the Algona Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber has been really nice to us and the City of Algona welcomed us here for these uh, last years that we've been at Algona. Vicki. Thank you Dave. It's always a pleasure to be invited to come out and just say a few words of welcome. You know, 35 years of your rally, what an accomplishment. Congratulations to that. 
and also for just for being here. You know, every every year I think, okay, so other than saying welcome, what do I say? Because we appreciate you. We thank you. You're a great addition to our community. You've improved this park area. Uh, look at where it was when you started compared to where it is today. How great is that? So basically, all I can say is pretty much everything I say every year. Welcome to Algona. Thanks for being here. And let me know if there's anything that we can do to make your visit better. Thank you. Thanks, Vicki. Next, we have another um, Iowa representative, Todd Preacher. Uh, Todd works for us in Des Moines, one of our friends. Hey, all right. Thank you all for having me here. My name is Todd Pritchard. There's a fellow veteran right there. This is a veteran reunion. Hey, uh, I was told when I was asked to, uh, to come here in Des Moines by a bait that this was a hardcore patriot crowd. Is that true? Is this a hardcore patriot crowd? All right, all right, all right. That's good. That's good. When you think about what today is, July 4th, the birthday of our nation, the day that we said as a country that we are free from tyranny, what makes this country great? And it's easy. What makes this country great is, is its people. It's you. It's me. It's the us of this country. I want to ask a few questions. Who in the crowd here is a veteran? Raise your hand. Give a, give a round of applause for these veterans. Who in the crowd here supports a veteran? A spouse, a girlfriend, boyfriend. That's an important job too, ask my wife. Who here was a Freedom Rider? Who's rode on the Freedom Riders? In 2005, I lost a friend when we were in Iraq. His name was Scott Nisley. He lived in Marshalltown, Iowa. He was a retired Marine major, and he decided after 9-11 that he was going to enlist, and he was going to serve in the National Guard. That's service. He was retired. He did 20 years in the Marines, and he came back in to serve in the country's time of need. Scott was killed in Iraq in October of two, or September of 2005 in an ambush. When his funeral was in Marshalltown, there was a protest there. But better yet, there was a counter-protest with the Freedom Riders here in Iowa to show that we support veterans. And that's what this country is about. It's about supporting each other. So I want to thank you as an Iraq veteran, as an Army veteran, for what this group, for what this community has done to support the veteran community. Because what do we do as Americans? We support each other in the cause of freedom. And that's what makes us strong. And that's why, I got news for you folks, this country's never going down, because we know we are strong together. Thanks for letting me come and visit with you. Take care. Next, I'd like to bring out DL. DL has a hard job here in Carson. Gary, Santa, Bach. Dennis Payway, District 16, J.R. Webb, District 17, Toy Reams, District 18, Roy Dorsey, District 19, Andy Martin, District 21, Tim Judge. I would also like everybody to keep in mind the lost seven in New Hampshire from a few weeks ago, and all of our young military that has given their lives to give us the freedom to be here today. Thank you very much.
gentlemen. Thank you. Next, it uh, put on this little party we got here. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of people to put on this party. It takes a lot of people to run this organization. Sometimes, when I have issues, and that's my two assistant coordinators that I have, I like to bring up Victor Rodriguez and Jeff Hooker. Did you just call them Hooker? These are my right hand men. Leg. Um, couldn't do a lot of things without them, and I really appreciate it. I'm going to turn the mic over to them. I'm going to have a few words. Thank you. Thank you guys for being here, like always. Uh, there is a lot of hard work that goes into putting this on, and it's way more than us three. It's people who were here way before we were here that are still here in this park doing it. Uh, and we're going to recognize some of them a little bit later uh, in the program here. I just want to say personally, thank you guys for coming. Thanks for coming out and supporting us. How many people is your first time here? I know we got some first timers. Yeah, you guys are about to have a hell of a party. I'm going to tell you right now. You guys talk to the ones who didn't raise their hand. You guys are going to see a fucking show. I'll promise you that. You're going to like it. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy the bands we have, the lineups we have here, all the good shit we got to do. You know, we got the rodeo grounds. We have the rodeo out here, I believe, tomorrow afternoon. You know, down the rodeo grounds, we do a sled pull. There's a burnout pit. We're doing foam dancing. I don't know what the hell that is. We're going to try it, I guess. We're doing some mud wrestling down here on, I think that's Saturday night. Man, there's a lot of shit going on. Get those papers that were handed out. They're up in the uh, front gate building. It tells you everything we're doing. Once again, thank you guys for being here. Have a good time. We want you here to have a good time. We don't want to have to have the fun handers, Doug's security guys down here to have to talk to you. They're easy to get along with. You know, get along with your neighbors. We like to sell some beer. You know, so you're here to enjoy our park. Your park, if you're members, make the best of it. The place is fucking beautiful, so enjoy yourselves. Hello. I know we can't say it enough. I'll start off by, I just want to say, again, thank you to all our vets out here. We wouldn't be able to do what we're doing today without you folks. Big hell yeah to our veterans out here. Absolutely. And again, I want to thank every one of you for coming out here without you folks. We couldn't continue to do this every year. We love having you. We love throwing a kick-ass party. We've got a beautiful organization full of beautiful people. They work their ass off every year to put this thing on for you. If you get a chance, stop and thank them. Be safe, have fun, and let's fucking party. Thanks, guys. Um, you know, like we said, it takes a lot of people. There's been a lot of people around for many years um, on that that uh, helped with this part, its development, its conception. I'd like to bring a couple of those people out here right now, and Jeff and Lee McCubbin. Here this last fall, Jeff and Lee were awarded our highest honor, awarded for Beta of Iowa, and that's the Steve Rector Hart Award, which they were very deserving of. And. You might see some new green t-shirts that some of the staff is wearing. Last year we, it was a little wet down here for the ones that were here last year. So we had some shirts that said uh, Rally 2018, a little moist. Well, for, for Jeff, we got him some special t-shirts this year. So Jeff always liked to tell people they had nice ankles. And I'll let him tell you that story. And since it's a little bit more humid on the back, the rally word for this year is humidities. We appreciate everything these two have done for this organization, our writer ed program, all the help they gave us through the M years. And we hope we have many more years with you guys. Jeff has never missed a Freedom Rally yet. 35. Do you guys like to say anything? Okay, since uh, he's handing it to me, it must mean the words aren't coming together for him. 
They just had the stitches out of his head Tuesday. And the doctor didn't say no, so here he is. And there's his baby. <laughs> doctor prescribed that while he was in the hospital. We have loved being part of this for 35 years. It has not been work to us to put this together for all of you because you all appreciate it so much. So thank you for coming. Again, Lee, Jeff, thanks for everything you have done through the years. Jeff? So like we said, it takes a lot of people to put on this little party here. Jeff is actually the chair of the uh, Freedom Rally Committee that helps organize this little party that we uh, throw every year. Now, Jeff wants to talk about some people also. Like I said earlier, we can't do this with the help of everybody. And the, the, the main people that, that help us get everybody else to help. Can I get the, the Rally Committee members that are here to come up on stage, please? Anybody that's on the Freedom Rally Committee could come up here and just make a line for me. You know, it takes a lot of people to, they, they give weekends, they give Sundays of meetings that, believe me, sometimes aren't so goddamn pleasant, but we get it done, right? A lot of times we agree to disagree, but they still get it done up here at the park. Uh, I'm going to start on the end and let them go down and introduce who they are and what their position is, because like I said, we can't do this with all these people putting a whole bunch of more people behind them. I mean, anybody you see wearing one of these hats out here at some point has busted their ass, and there's a bunch that don't have a hat that have busted their ass. So I'm going to start here with Rambo and let him tell who he is and what he is doing on the committee for us. Hey, Doug. Hi, everybody. My name is Rambo. I'm on the uh, Freedom Rally Committee as Park Improvement Chairman. Dave Duffy, State Coordinator of Bait of Iowa. Jeff Stepner in charge of all IT and all electronics here in the park. Doug Smith, head of security. D.L. Peterson, I'm the rally paper editor. I'm Doug, maintenance coordinator for the park. We put this party on. Hope you enjoy it. Can't go without my friend. Steve Eggleston, GFM. Slider, retired. Slider, well, retired. Oh, you're Jeff. Oh, yeah. Lee McCubbin, I'm uh, set up and uh, committee secretary. Jeremy Barrett, rally events coordinator. Melissa Mori, gate coordinator. Show your tits! <laughs> John Imers, RV coordinator. Grumpy, I'm in charge of ice sales. Beaver, 50-50 uh, raffle. I'm Heidi, I am your state treasurer. Sarah Coddington, products and merchandise, stop up and shop. Kitty, first aid medical coordinator for the park. Sheila Evans, vendor coordinator. Yeah. Penny Hoker, public relations. Yeah. Eric Ross, I run the beer barn down over here. Yeah. And I, I want to take a quick second, and we're, I'm in District 6, and 35 years ago in Humboldt, where we had the very first Freedom Rally, and District 6 had a member, David Lloyd, he's right over here, yeah. and he's yeah. been to that to that Freedom Rally and every Freedom Rally since then, and we want to recognize him in District 6, so I want you to come over here, David, and get this poison that your people say you love. The members of District 6 want to recognize you, David, and thank you for your support and your love for the Freedom Rally. Thank you, brother.
Brown Sugar, assistant state coordinator. I don't think Melissa Mori got up here, did she? Oh, I'm sorry. Shit, I looked right at her. Did you already do it? I didn't see it. Where's 2.0 at? So our uh, office manager now also took on car parking for us, and she's been back there since 8 o'clock this morning busting her ass, and she couldn't be up here. But all these people, we can't, we can't do this and start doing it and start to finish. They line up. I can't even tell you the, the people behind them, uh, the hundreds and hundreds of people behind them that make this possible. They just kind of instruct them what to do and the rest of them get the work done. But I want to personally thank everyone here for putting their time in and making this thing happen. We can't do it without them. My wife puts up with my bullshit while I'm all pissed off about doing this stuff. And, and she's our state PR person, man, I'm telling you. So thank you guys. appreciate it. Thanks to all these people up here, all the volunteers out there. Everybody comes up here on weekends, mows, cut trees, get things ready. And for you guys, when I was an assistant, I always had the first rally beer, official rally beer. Now state coordinator, I get to have it again to you guys. Let's get ready to party.